here's the idea of this deck. Welcome to my first, my first homecoming deck guide live here. It's day one demo event. And uh, let's go through all these cards here. So let's talk about the bronze core first. So this uh, this deck has a lot of really strong bronze, bronze engines. And I imagine that the opponent can't remove them all. But I think if we were on the red coin, it might be really hard to get set up. So that's one of the reasons why I run the Thunderbolt Potion. So I just want to highlight this card actually first. Um, in very Witcher style, the Thunderbolt Potion serves as preparation for battle. You may want to place this ahead of time to protect your units. Um, if your opponent can just remove artifacts, then oh well, I guess. But you have much more, uh, you have much better artifacts than this that your opponent, um, that you'd rather your opponent not remove. So if this baits a removal of artifact, you're much more free to play stuff like Bloody Flail and then really just run away with the board. But Thunderbolt playing it first, if you think your opponent is controlling or the meta seems very controlling, we are more likely to play a card like this first so we can protect our engine. So let's talk about the engines now, just so that's... So the first thing is the Lyrian Cavalry. So uh, insider tip right now, insider tip, this tooltip should read, whenever you play a card with orders, boost self by one. Just like the Lyrian Arbalest says, gain one charge whenever you play a card with orders. Both of these Lyrian units work the same way. So just a tooltip update is needed there. I don't think it's not working as intended. I think both of these Lyrian units are supposed to work the same way. Another card I love is this one. Yeah, Phoenix got real expensive. Le uh, leader for Dem Event's the same. He does uh, give a charge every turn for every two turns. So uh, this uh, this one's great because you have a lot of things that boost units, and plus if you just put all three charges of a Thunderbolt onto this card, you get the you get the three boost and then three pings on top of it. So he just is good. He's gonna get you value. He's just a good engine to have on the board, uh, and of course, good with a card like this. Siege Tower is really awesome with this. So. Siege Tower is an order card. It boosts both your Lyrian units, and it's also a boosting card, so it triggers your Lyrian, uh, your Tritum infantry as well. Plus, it's a charge card, and you can give it charges. And when you give it a charge, you get two points on the boost and maybe one point on the proc as well from the Tritum infantry. So you can start to see how this all starts to work together. Uh, the Battering Ram is just for artifact removal. We're going to have a soldier on the board, so it's just better rate because other artifact removal goes up at six if you want a body on it. Um, Kidwini Sergeant is a one of. It's kind of a one of here just to fill out the deck, but he's really good because, first of all, he can boost an ally by one and he has zeal, so he can do it right away. Plus, he has two charges. Um, so he can, uh, he triggers charges twice, he triggers the boost twice. Just a really strong card. I may even run two of these in the future, depending on this thing here. And then from here, I just have removal. Alzer's Thunder, Thunder damage unit by five, I run two of these. I would do it anyway, but Kira makes this a lot easier. Now let's talk gold cards, or maybe the silver card, sort of. Because I have, like, the silver cards you could say are, like, the two Thunderbolts, Flail, Corvo, Dandelion, and Marching Orders. Those are, like, my silver cards, right? So, Bloody Flail, which I just accidentally removed from my deck here. This is, uh, the whole deck is kind of built around this card here. The whole card is kind of, the whole deck is built around this card. So, the Bloody Flail can be used when you put it into play, and it comes into play with a charge on it. And when you remove charges from it, it deals damage equal to those charges. But it gains a charge whenever anything else gains a charge. There are a lot of things that gain charges. This doesn't count for units that start with charges. But this does mean that units gain charges. So anytime, so this means that if you have two Lyrian Cavalry, sorry, if you have two Lyrian Arbalests on the board, you play uh, the Flail, which is a unit that procs this, so because it has orders. So when you play the Flail, each Arbalest gets a, a charge, and then the Flail gets two charges as well. So that means that you gain it. You gain three charges in total over the course of that play. Um, Bloody Flail is also you res it with Caretaker, um, and it just deals so much. And we're going to see other ways to get charges here. So Visal go to of Corvo. If there is ever a card that you want to run Renew or Immunity Effects for, this is the guy. When this guy's on the board, you're gonna win. You're going to win. He gains a charge anytime anybody plays a card. He boosts a unit with all of his charges, so he's gaining charges two a turn, maybe three or four, depending on tutors. Every time he gains a charge, Dandelion boosts him. The Lyrian Arbalest 
trick uh sorry the bloody flail triggers he has an order so he triggers both the lyrian units as well he has a boost so he triggers the tritum infantry he is a centerpiece for this card and i think i might run something that protects him just so i can ensure that he wins me at least one round maybe even renew to give get him back um if i don't want to run this kira ragnarug and i think that kira ragnarug is cheeky and i can definitely get more value here definitely get more value and stuff like for stuff that might protect visigoda Dandelion is uh, just going to get me a lot of value in general. Phoenix is expensive because he's dumb, right? Radial Derp. Quick question. Should you using b reward points for leaders? I mean, I like using them for leaders because you get reward points for gaining leaders. And the leaders, you have to craft premium, so they're twice as expensive if you just want to craft them. Um, also, you save 1,600 scraps basically every time you craft them. So there's that. Marching Orders is working exactly as you remember it, my friends, and it's... Well, it doesn't boost anymore, but um, it's a great card. This pulls Avalok or Kira. And if I wasn't running Kira, I would always pull Avalok, and I'd always want Avalok. Kira is our spell tutor. Avalok is our artifact tutor. Play him on the range throw, guys. Rose Matter. Caretaker is our artifact resurrection. And Ragnarug is a spell that Kira can pull, so she's kind of like Dagon. Now, you don't drop this until you have control of the round, or the game, I should say. So I don't know how good this is going to be, but I don't think people are going to run clears. But if they do run clears, it's a lot of uh, a lot of provisions denied. All right, guys, let's play. Oh wait, I have enough. Uh, I have enough dust for my for my special. Twenty cards, lots, all kinds. So I'm going to buy the. Northern Realms bundle, which is going to get me this pretty Lyrian board with the with the uh, like the Thronebreaker board with the with the Witcher contract. It's going to give me a new Dem event skin as well. I would take this too because Edern. This is, the Edern board appears to be a Nilfgaard board, but I guess that's because they're attacking Edern. But the Edernian leader really is Dem event because he's the king of Edern, right? So we'll get this here. Ooh, she's shiny. What human come back? Glitter rock spring. I got a lot for spending that. Um, I also think if I convert one premium with dust, I get something as well. So I'm pretty sure I didn't convert every single bronze, right? There's probably a bronze that I didn't I didn't get two of here. Yeah, like this one here. So I'll craft the non-premium and I'll transmute it. Yeah, I knew there was achievement for that. So I just wanted to get that there. So there's that. So now I'm just going to have a couple more rewards here to claim. And then we're going to actually start playing the game. But you can do a lot. You can do There's a lot to do in the menus before you actually jump into Homecoming. But it's finally time, you guys. Yeah, we're filling this out here. We have five more points to spend. So that's going to give us... Uh, this story note. <clears throat> when the Nilfgaardian invasion began, most presumed the North would be obliterated in a matter of weeks. Yet, to their great surprise, the outnumbered and under-equipped Nordlings managed to repel the Empire's legions. The Nilfgaard sucks. Just kidding. Why? Alright, we're ready, boys and girls. We're ready. Let's play some games. First, though, let's put on our fancy new uh, leader here. Wait. Uh, this I get from, this this leader skin I get from Dem Events Three, but this one I get from buying it. I mean, they're not spectacular, right? They're just color shifts, but it, there's promise for more, right? There's promise for more. And let's play on the, this fancy Lyrian board. Oh wait, do I have the Edern board? Oh no, these are just available. These are available. We'll play this fancy little Lyrian board here. Equip this. It's time. Let's see how owned we get. You leave my Nilfgaard alone. Demavent sounds like Stennis. He says you stand before Royal Majesty. You stand before his Royal Majesty. I love it. So we get to go first. We have two good engine cards here, but I want an Arbalest really bad. 
Um, I arguably don't need the Flail because I have Avalok, but I would like to also play Avalok into Thunderbolt's potion. We have Vizo. This is actually probably a fine hand. We have a lot of mulligans with them event. Maybe just this? I want an Arbalest. There's an Arbalest. I'm fine. Okay, so we're playing a Northern Realms mirror match here. You'll notice the music gets more intense as we play cards as well, so things start calm. Um, I'm going to want to play the Lyrian Cavalry or the Lyrian Arbalest to get things started. I mean, it's the Cavalry first because it, this one procs. Um, I don't use my I don't use my tactical advantage until I'm protecting an Arbalest or a Siege Tower. I don't have any Siege Towers though, but I also could just play for the Thunderbolt. I think I might just play for the Thunderbolt to start because this isn't an order, so I don't lose any value by playing this first. You will see it in your dream. Achievement uh. unlocked. What? Play your first card. Play a bronze this and gold card in multiplayer. Because <laughs> I did it. I did it in one, in one here. So he played Ronvid the Incessant. Um, Ronvid the Incessant is not the card he was once was, but he does come back every round. So there is that. Um, okay, so I'm gonna play the Lyrian Cavalry and give it a single boost, and we're gonna play stuff on the melee road just because we should get used to doing that because of uh, the Siege Tower. It's not my turn yet. It's still not my turn. My opponent is uh, learning how to pass first. Good mulligan? Yeah, good mulligan. Our hand is really strong. We have Visal Goda and Dandelion in hand, which is basically it's just absolutely like unfair. That combo is just gross. So we go Lyrian, uh, we go uh, Lyrian Cavalry, and we give it one boost here. We give it yeah! one little bit of protection here. Just to make it... Um, now, we're losing Demoven value here, but it just... I'm protecting myself. I'm playing. I'm playing extra, extra defensive. So I might want to kill that, but I don't have to kill it now. I think. I mean, I also want to play the flail. See, here's where the sequencing gets weird because I'm trying to sequence the engines that care about all their procs, but I also need to keep in mind about charge giving and the fact that I have Demavend at the waiting here. So I think I need to play the Arvalest here and give it a shot of Thunderbolt to protect it and then Demavend it, um, then Demavend it next turn after I play the bloody flail. I think, yeah, I do this here. This doesn't have to be on the melee row, and I don't have a siege tower, so it might be better for me to not play it. Lyria! Ah. We'll just stay ahead here. Full test can now ping with his ballista. His Adernian Mauler is going to hit for four. We're going to kill that, though. The Adernian Mauler will never get its order to trigger here. This is going to be a good turn here. <clears throat> so this is the Bloody Flail turn. So I'm going to play Bloody Flail. It's going to give a charge to this, and then I'm going to gain an additional charge. And then Demavent is going to give a charge to this, and it's going to gain even more charges. So it gets pretty nuts from here. It gets pretty nuts from here. The combo is already in play. So boom, charge gain, charge gain, boom, charge gain, charge gain. Yeah! Bing, bing. So now I can kill the Adernian Mauler with pop, pop. You can see how much faster it is here much faster than it was before. And I'm going to wait on the flail for now because I just don't need it. I don't need the tactical advantage either. But I know my next turn is going to be pretty crazy too, right? The rope is real. The rope's real. Full test looks so good, guys. I, haven't, I don't think I've played against full test. There's full test using his ability. Now, he gave a unit zeal that doesn't need it. So there is a misplay from our opponent here, Tarkstrad. Oh, he's really wasting full test here. No, he used all of his charges in the first round. Definitely learning how to play here. I'm going to maybe start going a little bit easier on this guy. But he still has to play a card, right? He maybe he doesn't know that either. He's playing some vanilla stuff. <sighs>
This is going to be our pass. I don't think we keep this, right? Type form A. I'm getting all these achievements that I don't even know what they are. Maybe it's like a mix of artifacts and units. Damn foolery. Enough. Oh, he has the witchers to actually pull ahead. Look at this guy. Unexpected. Giving a charge to this is worth more. I'll be playing just my I'll just playing my thunder here, I think. Or the battering ram if he's not playing any artifacts. I'm scared about the artifacts, but I have a feeling this guy is not running them now. I just I have a feeling he's not running them now. Right, I have, I have reach on this here. I'm using all my I'm using everything here. To try to huh. stay ahead here. Now I've used tactical advantage and everything. He had a huge uh, comeback here with the Stand witchers. And he's point. gonna get he's gonna be able to use this right away, but I don't think it's enough. No. Nope. Because he can't do anything with this now. So he's behind, and I'm on even cards. <clears throat> I mean, this is pretty nasty now. I don't want to play anymore because I don't want to I don't want to expend these cards that I have. They're too good. I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take the pass here. Yeah. My opponent's gonna have to go down a card to take it here. I keep a card. The game's deep enough that he might just open pass, and then I'm going to get him with all sorts of long round stuff. Yeah, tactical advantage is just for the first round, but that's when you use it. That's like clearly the most important time to use it. Another Thunder, Ballista, Marching Orders. Um, I have Kira on Marching Orders, so I can get rid of this. More Engine Units, but I don't have a lot of Orders left. I don't think I want two thunders either. I don't cure it either. All right. Used all my mulligans. Ooh. He's gonna open pass here. This is great for me. <sighs> so I think I just play my calorie. I mean, these all work together though. Order, order, order. But I can't play, I have to play one of these three cards. Probably the thing without charges is the thing that has to go down here. Yeah, we have a great long round. We have a great long round, so this is going to be okay. We got a long round leader. We have an engine leader. We're going to be given charges. We have we have the Visagoda and Dandelion Super Squad. Plus, we're going to have Ragnarug. Siege Tower in the hand. Arbalest in the hand. Basically, a perfect draw. Because I want my removal, just in case there's some stuff. Because I think that he's okay with a long round, too. You know, we, we've seen some new player mistakes here, but I think that I'm not going to count them out here, because the game's pretty wild. Still some pretty swingy stuff if you don't prepare yourself. But this is otherwise... Caretaker is the only thing I would want, but I used all my mulligans, so we don't have Caretaker for the flail. So I'll be starting things off. I really need to protect Visigoda, and I'm not sure how I'm going to do that now. Without this. I'll play the Lyria now. I'll just play like some stuff that he might want to remove here. I have a Siege Tower now, so I need to play on the... Uh, I could have given the charge there, but I want to make sure I get value out of it. So when, when he can use it, I'll, he'll get the charge. Yeah, like this is something I want to absolutely remove here. That Adernian Mauler deals... It's a four damage ping. Um, I actually can get, I actually get all the pings enough to kill it. I got the three pings here. Because I got a ping here and Demvent's going to give him one. Ah! One, two, three. And now I'm set up here to the siege tower to do some boosting. Plus my uh, kid when he's sergeant's going to come in and help everybody out. With pitchforks and sights, we'll take their lives! Turn limits? No, there's no term limit on Ragnarok. So I'll be playing it very soon. But I need to play Kira on range, and I want to get the bonus out of this here. These guys all need to be on range, too. Baizo and Dandelion and, uh, and Kira. So the only other unit I can place next to this are the Reinforced Ballista and the Kidwini Sergeant. 
But I think the reinforced ballista is actually good to have too. Good setup here, good setup here. Homecoming hype, what's up? MB0, how you doing? Versus Koist on the card now. So he did have an Alzers, that's good to know. Um, so now I guess, I mean, the row isn't great for Ragnarug and I don't have movement, so you may think I'm taking too much time here. He used a Thunder though, which is really important because the Thunder will kill Vizagoda and Dandelion. Maybe I'll play Dandelion now, because if Vizagotus lives, then we're fine. But I'll play Dandelion first. Rumors travel faster than the wind. It's going to boost because I'm giving it a charge here. Aha! So I can go ping, pong. Ah. This is all bronze stuff, really. That I, This has been mostly a bronze showcase. I haven't played any of my really scummy stuff. Chort. All right, well, you know what? I think Ragnarug on that row is going to be fine. Because it'll turn into the Chort, which is a 10 strength unit, but then I'll just be able to burn it down from there. And I can't really stop that from occurring. So this is gonna be this is gonna be the uh, Ragnarok turn, I think. Or is it the Kedwenny Sergeant turn? Now nah, I'll let him trigger this himself. I killed for I'm gonna that. save his charges to help uh, Vizagoda out. Huh. Again, I'm trying to bait his removal just a little bit more. <laughs> All right, so that comes short, and now we can weather. Right? So the weather's gonna only get us. It's only gonna get us the same amount that normal weather would get us. So like Ragnarug is not, I mean this combo is not like the most devastating and crazy thing, right? It's not so crazy. And now something special. It's not awful, but it's not great. Ah. Knowledge is the sole treasure worth seeking. I'm trying to watch out for Igni here, so I don't want to row to hit 15 and have a lineup as well. But at this point, I only have I only have my control cards left, so I can I'm, I'm living off of Visigoda and I'm living off of the the, the weather here, so. If my opponent has, all right, so I'm gonna have plenty of, every time Vizagoda gets a card played as well, he gets a boost. <clears throat> so assuming that these aren't gonna get more charges, I'm just gonna pump the value into this here. You can see how Dandelion and Vizagoda are like some of the, like such a good combo here. Wait, one turn for Ragnarug? Oh, he played uh, Thunderbolt. Cool. He's just gonna use it. Oh man, am I gonna get there? This is so close, dude. I get more out of giving a charge to the reinforced ballista, I guess, because it's two points and ping, right? Plus boost. Ah! He just conceded. Opponent has forfeited. He was done, right? Right on, right on. GG to my opponent here. Play one rank game, getting lots of achievements for this. Table manners, get an achievement for GGing my opponent. Here comes the round one. Here comes my little piece of my little piece of my thing here. My faction MMR starts to grow here. My level is going. I got a little siege support as a gift. Cool, cool, cool. First game down. Let's claim these rewards here.